What's up guys? Welcome back to another Saints Row 5 wishlist video, part 2 for you guys. I got a good one here, you guys come up with some really good ideas, but uh, in order to kind of pay you guys back for being so engaged and supportive of this content, every few videos, not every video, but you know, every once in a while, I want to give shout outs to 5 people that I've noticed have been really active on this channel, always liking and commenting and subscribing. So if I see that you guys are active, you're supporting the channel, I'll give you a shout out. And uh, today the five people that I want to give shout outs to are Dan Manzanares, Spooky Ninja, Killian Jur 2, XZKXCXN, and What Spooky. So thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. I really appreciate it. And uh, again, for this wishlist video, if you guys don't have your comment in here or you only see a portion of the comment read, it's because, you know, some of the ideas I've already seen before or talked about and uh, I'll hopefully try to get to as many as I can. I want to do new people in every one of them. So uh, yeah, let's get right into it. Also, my bad if I mispronounce any of the names. Some of you guys got some uh, uh, unique names, so my bad if, if, if I do that, but uh, Kayuta Waya wants underwater sea life and environmental destruction kind of like in Battlefield. I love these two ideas, man. It would really give more life to the Saints Row universe, if you will, the Saints Row world that we're going to be in. And it's time, man. I mean, I've talked about this before, but like the ragdolls and stuff from Saints Row 2 and 3 and even 4, they were funny at the time, but it's time for them to step it up so that when you throw somebody, it doesn't look like you're throwing, you know, a sack of potatoes. It's like an actual real person. It's time for them to implement that. So, uh, yeah, as far as, like, environmental destruction, Saints Row 2 did have some where you could, like, you know, run into the bus benches and everything you could basically run into would, you know, break. But uh, it's time for them to kind of step it up a notch. I mean, I don't see why you can't have certain buildings that if you, you know, shoot a rocket launcher at it, it could uh, collapse or something. I mean, Saints Row, a huge part of the game is, you know, blowing stuff up and the chaos. So I don't see why they wouldn't have something like this as far as the destruction. And underwater sea life, the possibilities are endless. I talked about Atlantis in another video. That's not going to happen. You're not going to have Atlantis. But you could still have some awesome stuff. Abandoned ships, Easter eggs, mysteries, things like that. I mean, it would add another layer to the game that honestly would be awesome. All right. Up next, EVD says, I would love it if the player could have some interactions with gang NPCs. I want to talk to saint NPCs on the street and do more with them than just recruit them. Some sort of activity that revolves around working with an NPC saint like drive-bys on other gangs and stuff like that. Lots of enterable buildings are also awesome and more extensive gang customization. I love this idea. I mean, you think about something like Watch Dogs Legion where you can play as anybody. Now, that's a stretch. We're not going to be able to play as everybody. But have a more in-depth recruitment system so that the Saints feel like it's actually your gang. I mean, think of all the Saints Row games where you walk into your apartment and there's just like a bunch of random gang members or like random gang members on the street. Wouldn't you feel more at home and it would be more fun if you saw a gang member on the street, you brought him into your gang and then you just saw him walking down the street or hanging out in your in your safe house or apartment later on? It would feel more personal like, hey, I brought you an NPC off the street into the gang. I did that. It would make it feel more personalized and that would be so sick. I would love that. All right, up next we've got TBX Nintendo who had a pretty long comment, but you guys loved it. Uh, lots of upvotes for his comment and it's split up into three cool parts that I wanted to talk about. All right, up first, he's got activities that I wanted to talk about. Some really cool ones here like dodgeball drinking contest. That would be super sick. Hacking, you know, I mean, they brought in Kinsey, you know, they could kind of go for that. Card game, uh, I don't know about that one, but food fight, uh, Hitman was already in there. But yeah, dodgeball, of course, fight club, we've had that before. And racing, it's a classic. I love these, especially the drinking contest one. Like, this is fun stuff that I think would be incredibly fun as activity instead of boring stuff. And as far as his gangs go, there's some really interesting stuff here, like a clown gang, wrestlers. I mean, they had that with the luchadors, kind of, but they could bring it back even better. A cowboy gang. That was actually a canceled gang for Saints Row the Third. So a cowboy gang would be pretty cool. Goths, 
robot gang. That would be really interesting. But again, if they did that, they wouldn't be going old school Saints Row if they had a robot gang. So that's the thing. Like, are they going to have more realistic gangs? Like, um, you're going to see somebody else is going to comment Italian or Irish gangs? Like the mob? Or are they going to have wackier, crazier gangs like the cowboys or, uh, you know, robots or something like that? That's what uh, we'll have to find out. And lastly, he talks about myths. Notably, Bigfoot, the Loch Ness Monster, and ghosts. I love this, especially Bigfoot. Again, we're trying to find as many ways as possible to be like, Hey, Rockstar, suck it. And if you put in Bigfoot, uh, something that Rockstar fans have really wanted for a long time, and I know they've kind of dabbled with it in Red Dead Redemption, Undead Nightmare, and uh, even GTA V somewhat, but having a legit Bigfoot you could find in like a forest or something, oh god, that would be hilarious. I would love that. That would be amazing. And yeah, like I said, Perox Sim, he wants maybe an Irish gang and an Italian gang. And if you think about it, like, I think this is a great idea, especially, like, the Italian mob, to have that as a gang in Saints Row, that would be sick, the Saints versus the mob. I would love that. That would be amazing. And he also wants more secret locations like caves and islands. And you know what? This would just be classic Volition. Think of Volition Island and Ruin Island in Saints Row 2. This is the type of stuff they need to go back to because it just puts a huge smile on the fans' faces. So, uh, secret islands, I'm so down for it anything like that. Next up, King Keji wants mission replay and multiplayer or four-player co-op. You know what? Like I said, multiplayer has grown on me. When I first started making these Saints Row videos, I didn't want it, but now I want it. Not in the vein of like GTA Online, but some game modes. And you know what? If you want to do some free roam, I'll take it. Just don't turn it into what GTA Online has become. But you know what? I'm down. And uh, four-player co-op, they got to have that. You know what I mean? Two players, not enough at this point. We have more than one friend. So uh, four-player co-op, I would love that. And as far as mission replay goes, that's a must. Come on, Volition. You know, we want to be able to replay the missions, especially the really fun ones. You got to have that. Okay, this next guy, I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce his name, like XI Games thing, but uh, sorry, man. But uh, he wants it to basically be Saints Row the Third, but better. Saints Row Five to be an improved version of Saints Row the Third aka what Saints Row the Third should have been. And to some degree, I agree because, you know, Saints Row the Third was a great game. It's the best-selling game in the franchise. People loved it, including me. I love it as a game, but it was good. It could have been even better. It could have been incredible. If you look at the, the original ideas, being an undercover cop for a few, the entire game or even just a few missions, there's some things they could have done or they could have had some awesome Saints Row the Third elements and some Saints Row 2 elements in there. And you know what? They mentioned multiple times that they just kept cutting stuff from Saints Row the Third. So they cut a lot of stuff from the original game. It could have been even better. So to some degree, I do agree that Saints Row 5 could be what Saints Row the Third should have been. But I do think it should be its own game. Make it somewhat original. Of course, you can have returning characters and stuff like that. But you know what? Make it a really distinct, different Saints Row game, and don't worry about being a copycat of GTA. It's not going to happen, man. I really I really don't think it's going to happen. Do whatever you think is going to make the fans most happy, and don't worry about what Rockstar's doing too, too much. Unless you're making fun of them, like with the Bigfoot thing. That would just be hilarious. Josh Cool 124 has a few different ideas for the radio stations. This is a unique one. I really like what he's saying here. He thinks that the mix should just stick to pop and should bring back Sizzurp for classic rap and The Rock for classic rock. I agree, man. These are things that we need. And honestly, my, some of my favorite times in Saints Row has been listening to either Sizzurp or just like 80s classic music on the mix. I love that. Uh, and he talks about a few other things like K-Rhyme and the Underground. Some cool new stations I think would be awesome. He thinks uh, maybe something like Kaboom for the name of a talk show. Maybe parodying current events, politics. I mean, I know we have the Jane Valderrama stuff, but there could be its own radio station making fun of Donald Trump or, you know, something like that. I would love that. That's a great idea. So, uh, you know what? If you could add more radio stations like that. We spend so much time in the car in Saints Row. I think it's an amazing idea. 
Up next, I really like some of Emerald Taurus' ideas here. He wants more radio stations, and in the same vein as uh, Josh Cool, wants funny talk radio slash podcast stations and funny commercials. I love that. Uh, easy listening, he mentions, that being able to play music on your phone like in Watch Dogs, I think that's a great idea. And you got to bring back some of the classic diversions like Ambulance, Taxi, uh, the Firefighter one, Drive-By Shooting, he mentions... Uh, and some stuff like that. Arcade machines as well. This is some great stuff. I would love to see this be implemented in Saints Row 5. Especially like the arcade machines and the classic diversions. You can even throw in some different diversions. It's like, it's not as in-depth as a full-on activity, but it's stuff you can do in Free Roam that's super fun. Uh, I, I would love to see it. PlayStation Marth wants a better combat system, and I totally agree, it definitely needs it. This goes back to my point of improving the ragdoll physics so that it can still be funny, but more realistic. And I would argue that by making it a little bit more realistic, it's more funny. Because when you throw somebody, it feels like an actual person is you know falling off a building or something, and it would be funnier than if it just kind of goes limp and it's like, okay, well... They didn't really put that much effort into it. So I say improved ragdoll physics and uh, better combat system for sure. And somebody asked me if they can use uh, a different video game developer's game engine like Rockstar. I'm pretty sure they can't use the Rage engine or whatever Rockstar is using now. They kind of got to refine and tweak what they've got themselves. So, uh, But they can do it, man. And they really should, especially on next gen. I'm 95% sure this game is going to be coming out PS5, Xbox Series X. So I really do think that everything should be improved. It really should not be a bootleg open world game or else it's just going to get roasted. Like, oh my god, look at this copycat bootleg piece of crap. Uh, GTA's, you know, twisted cousin. Uh, we don't want that. We want a good, uh, solid, respectable game that's like, wow, this is really good and it could rival what GTA is doing. Brandon Peck wants skateboards. I love this. You know what? If you put this as like an activity or uh, even a diversion or even just being able to, to skateboard as a method of transportation, you know what I mean? Like this is something that you rarely find in open world games. Like of course there's skateboarding open world games, but in an open world game about crime, to be able to use a skateboard as a diversion or, or to get around, I think that's awesome. It, it could add not hours, but it could add some some good extra time on the game to do fun stuff. You could have some trophies or achievements geared around, you know, how many kickflips you can do or whatever. So I think skateboards are a really cool addition to add into Saints Row 5. And lastly, J.A. Callen wants idle actions to return. By that, he means in like Saints Row 2 and the other games, I'm not quite sure, but I know for sure in Saints Row 2, that when you stood idle, your boss would kind of start doing things. You know, he would talk to himself. Uh, he'd talk about Monica Hughes, I remember. Or even in the car, some songs he would sing along to. Just little idle actions like that. He would maybe start to do funny th funny things or, or even cool things. So just little things like that I'm noticing from the Saints Row community. It's what you guys want. That's what will make you guys happy. Like, this is not a really big thing. It's a little detail, you know, when you're not doing something. He'll dance or smoke or drink or something like that. It's awesome. And this is the type of stuff they need to add because it puts a smile on our face and it enhances the experience for the player. So honestly, like, I don't see why you wouldn't want to add this stuff in. All right, guys, that's it for me. Uh, if you guys have any more original ideas, I'll probably make a part three. But if I'm starting to see that it gets redundant, like a lot of people giving the same ideas that I've already mentioned or that aren't really worth making a video about, you won't see a part three. So try to keep it to features. Stuff like underwater sea life, improved radio stations, uh, new diversions or activities like the drinking contest, original stuff like that that would be super fun. Skateboarding. Uh, think of things like that so I can make a video about that in part three. And uh, if it's your first time here, make sure you leave a like on this video, subscribe, and turn that notification bell on. I love making Saints Row content, and I really do think Saints Row 5 will be announced soon here. I'm not exactly sure how soon, but uh, it's been working in the pipes for three years now, man. Like, they're going to have to bring it up at some point here soon. Uh, and remember, they did mention that 2020, they would announce something for Saints Row 5. Just remember that. So, I'm pretty sure it's on its way, and uh, I'll see you guys later.